So guys, we are back. And we are working on the truck today. So if you haven't seen the Instagram post guys, we have a ton of stuff to put on the truck today. We have new shocks. We have new steering, the dual steering. We have spacers and we have a level kit and new wheels. So we have a ton of stuff. Kittens, separate. So we have a ton of stuff to do this truck today. So first thing, we need to get this thing up and on some jack stands. We finally have the one wheel off. We have our jack stands, which was a little bit of a chore because I had not put jack stands on an F-250 before. So a little bit on the learning curve side, but get this wheel off, then we can start tearing apart the front end. So first thing we're gonna do while we're under here, we are going to get our shocks off. Our old ones we have one bolt up here and we have one down here and it's got a keeper tab so we basically just need to zap that one off and this one off and we can actually pull the shock off and get it off and out and that will allow us to then in turn start looking at what we have to do to put in our level kit and what that entails so let's get this shock off Well, they're not horrible, but I can push them in by hand, and they do take some time to come back out. They're KYBs. Not a bad shock, but I think they're old. So I'll set those off to the side, go pull the other side off, and then start looking at what we got to do. So we have both shocks off. We have the axle supported on this side with the OEM jack, just for now. We have the other side supported with the full jack. We have our kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this side that has the full jack on it. And we are going to take our four bolts that hold down the spring to the axle we're going to take those off take our u-bolts off and then take our spring mounting plate off then what we're going to do is we'll drop the jack down that'll bring the axle down and that will allow us to slide our blocks in figure out the size of our bolt so we can cut those all to fit underneath that and then we can jack it back up and bolt it all back down. So let's get under there and start taking off those bolts. So now that we have those off, those hold our spring and axle in place. This on top is our shock mount or our shock mounts this here next is our um this bolt which holds the leaf leaf spring to the axle itself which we'll need to try to get off here without breaking um but we need to get that out because the new bolt that comes in the kit goes all the way through as well so we need to get that off but i think we need to run to o'reilly's first because i need some more penetrating oil and also i noticed that our vacuum lines here to our vacuum hubs are pretty much shot they're squishy they have slits in them so we're going to replace those get some penetrating oil 
and then we'll be back to drop this axle. Get to drive the wife's car because the only car I got is. <laughs> so we get to drive the brand new Jeep 2021 that we got her. Um, we test fitted our our baby. Um, what you want to call it? Car seat thing. Um, so we test fitted that yesterday to see how it's gonna fit. I'm gonna have to go get one for my car now because. When Chandler gets here, we're going to have to have one per car. So, off to O'Reilly's. Let's get what we need. Ah, crap. I forgot my... Forgot the hose. So, we got our coffee. We got all our stuff from O'Reilly's. And we are headed back home. So, let's get some coffee in us so we can power through this. So, we got our... I don't know how this freaking thing works. What is this? New one. Penetrating oil gonna put that on that bolt we're gonna put that on oh I can't get under there yet uh, we'll put it on shoot squeeze it up in there let that soak in there we'll put it on these two bolts and these two see if we can't get some Lucy 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 juice on that so let's let that sit. I'll prepare, oh, it's in the garage. We'll prepare the level kit on this side and see if we can break that loose so we can put this stuff on. Okay, so that bolt's not coming off, so we're grinding it off. Bye-bye bolt. Done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop the axle down that's on the jack. We're gonna drop it down. You're gonna see it drop away from the leaf spring and it should open up enough space that we can slide our all our new stuff in. But um, let's check that out. Okay, there we kind of go. We are proving a little bit difficult to put this little lift on. The axle is tended once the shift, so we have ratchet straps pulling everything back into place. Um, on the other side, I'll kind of do this beforehand so that the axle doesn't move when we do take it down. So what we have to do here is we're going to have to lower this down a little bit, get it into place, and then kind of shimmy all this stuff around because these bolts aren't, they, they're, they're in the right place, but the, um, 
the whatchamacallit, the holes don't line up between these two till we let more pressure off, so we have to do that and work this thing around, so that's what we gotta do. Okay guys, so we finally got the holes lined up here. We're gonna put this back in. I had it upside down, but we're putting it in the right way now. So we're gonna slide it into the hole. We're gonna jack this up just a little bit more so we can get this whole thing in here. There we go. What we're gonna do now, and what I should have done the first time is, uh, where'd it go? Uh, uh, not for it. Um, Okay, I got a nut for it. We're gonna put this nut. Oh, it came. It re-adjusted itself, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So we're gonna have to adjust this again because it's not completely. Open. So that we can't fully get that bolt through. And we need to get that bolt all the way through. But I also need to pull the axle this way. So let's pull the axle just to tap it. And the line. I think that's in line. in line there then we can kind of make out what we have here that hole is almost there kind of see uh, obviously you can't tell so I've been using this thing to go in there that's our that's our cutoff piece, so if I can get this adjusted and in there, then the other one will go in. So that's what I've been messing with, trying to make room for this thing. And if that'll go in, then that bottom one will go in. So let's keep working at it. Well, I just broke my GoPro stand. <laughs> awesome. So, we are all done. We have our <laughs> shock mount up top. We have our um, lift kit. We have our new U-bolts. Uh, I can take this down, and I'm gonna put this up under the uh, axle to jack it up high. We have our bracket for our dual steering on. On this side, we'll do that one when we get to that side. So once I get the bolts underneath bolted, I can then put our shock in, our new vacuum hose to our 4x4, and tighten everything up. Or uh, They want everything kind of loose. So we'll loose, tight, and then we'll do the other side, and then we'll um, then tighten everything up all at once. So we have this side all together, our lift, our U-brackets, our new shocks, our bracket, as you can see, for our dual steering. So that's all done. We are jumping over here to this side. We're doing the same thing we did over there. So we just cut off our top bolt because it's rusted. We're about to drop down the axle, jack up the spring enough to allow for this to drop so we can get the level kit in and get this thing all bolted up in the front so we can put our spacers on, put our wheels on, dual steering, and be done with the front. Because the back is easy, the front is hard. So this side went on a lot easier. We were kind of more prepared and we had our ratchet straps in place and our bolt went up really easily. The only thing I didn't show on that side, what you have to do on both sides is this new bolt is way bigger than the old one. So you have to grind out 
or drill out the hole at the bottom of your shock mount so that you can actually set this in place and it will fit your shock. If not, then it sits weird and it won't let the shock mount correctly, but we are done. Gonna bolt this back up, put our U-bolts back on and put our bracket for our dual steering back on and bolt all this up, put our new shock on and make it look like the other side. So let's get this done because I'm ready for this front to be complete. So now that we got that side done, as you can see, and we have our bracket for our dual steering, bracket for our dual steering. This is our middle bracket for dual steering. So we will, what we're gonna do is lightly put that on so that it stays kind of straight out. Gonna put each shock on, bolt them up, see where this centers, and then we will start tightening everything up. So that's our next goal. Let's get this done. Now that that bracket's on, we need to come in, grab our hardware. I think it's one per side, two in the middle, and one for the other side. Plus our shocks for dual steering. Set those babies down, and then we will start to bolt these up. So, we have our dual steering all on and tightened up and looking really really good shocks are on our level kit is on everything is tight only thing we have to do is get this thing up in the air and put our adapters and put our wheels on so let's get it okay everything is bolted up everything is now tight we are now left with just spacers and wheels on the front. So these spacers go right there, just like that. So we will bolt these down, get them tight, and do the same on the other side, jack this up, put our wheels on, and we are gonna be done with the front, guys. This is super exciting. I'm ready to see how this thing sits and looks. So let's get to it. Now that we got our spacer on, let's go get our wheel. So we got one wheel put on. We're gonna go put the spacer on the other side. And we are going to put our two front wheels on. Make sure everything's tightened up. Make sure everything looks good. And then what we'll do is we'll back it out, flip it around, back it in, and we'll do the rear. But let's get the spacer on so we make sure we get the other tire on. I'm exhausted. But let's get this. So, the front wheels are mounted and ready to go. So, time to back this out, flip it around, and... Let's go put the rears on to see what the rears are going to look like. And then what the whole truck's going to look like when it's all said and done. Let's get to it. One side off. Let's go get this other side off. And we got the gun. Make this so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> And it's off. To fit on here. Um, and by the way, I need a new brake pads in the rear, but that's for another day. But to get this spacer to fit on here correctly, we have to take the axle cover off. So all these bolts in this plate come off, and then this is able to slide over, and then we can actually figure out exactly 
what has to be done, they say some grinding on top of these, um, which isn't too bad um, to get it to fit flat, but let's take this off and see what we got. So we had to pull the axle out and we had to grind a little bit of the hub so that the spacer will fit on there. The axle's right there. We're about to slide the axle back in and bolt it back down and then we will be done with this side. Then we can do the same thing to the other side. So, what you see behind me is the finished product, guys. This thing looks absolutely fantastic. We don't have the caps on because we are about to wash the truck because the wheels are really, really dirty and I want them to be clean for when we're driving around tomorrow, going to work. So it looks fantastic. The truck is a level. It is flat. If you're done with the truck, like, comment, subscribe. A lot more car videos coming your way.